So um, let's talk now about Waldenstrom's uh, macroglobulin anemia. Um, Matt, first of all, in, in sort of diagnostic workup, um, do you, are you looking for some of these mutations that we see, like MyD88 or CXCR4? Is that an important part of the average workup uh, of someone with Waldenstrom's? Yeah, so we do we do send these mutational status tests tests uh, quite quite frequently. In particular, the MyD88 status. I think that's sort of the easiest one to get, um, and you know that tends to be mutated in the vast majority of Waldenstrom patients. We can see these rare variants that have wild type MyD88, but still have the clinical features of Waldenstrom with high IgM, paraprotein, et cetera. Uh, but generally, most patients have a mutation in MyD88. CXCR4 testing is less widely available right now, uh, as as I'm sure we'll talk about. It can affect the responsiveness to drugs like abrutinib. Uh, but probably not as critical that everyone be sequenced for CXCR4 status right now. Yeah, so let's let's just jump right into it. Um, well, first of all, what are some of the indications for for treatment of Waldenstrom's? And you know, it's it's kind of like CLL. You don't necessarily treat everybody when they first present. Right. I think it's uh, coming down to their risk factors. Right. What are their risk factors for having a complication related to their Waldenstrom's? So remember, this is a, a, a lymphoplasma sac lymphoma with an IgM component. That IgM, uh, if it gets high, and any IgM level, of course, constitutes a Waldenstrom's. But when that gets high, of course, you can have a viscosity problem and lead to uh, capillary uh, stasis in, in, in organs, and particularly worry about uh, the brain or the kidneys. And so we want to eliminate that. So if you're getting up with viscosity levels of two and a half or three or, or so, you start starting to think about treatment. Otherwise, you're also really looking at the IgM level as a marker and understanding, you know, the pace of, of disease. It's kind of like a lymphocyte count in CLL. So you look at the IgM level, pay close attention to that, but that's not a driver to treatment in, in, it, in and of itself. It also comes down to all those other factors that we see in, in the lymphoma patients. You know, what are their B symptoms or do they have any uncontrolled weight loss, fevers, night sweats, those things, adenopathy still can happen here and you know how big and bulky is their disease how much disease do they have and those th those criteria are still very much in play for a Waldenstrom's patient as well I think the MYD88 and CXCR4 are important tests to know about and to do I think the MYD88 can certainly help solidify the diagnosis looking for that mutation at what we call 265 it's a leucine to proline change that's 90 percent of patients with Waldenstrom's will have Matt talked about CXCR4 as well. It happens in about 40% of Waldenstrom's patients. Um, when you see that, it um, means that those patients are more aggressive, but the survival isn't any different whether you have CXCR4 mutation or not. So it's a, uh, a, 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 a test that we want to do. These are things that will help us understand how to approach patients, but they're not drivers to treatment. 